Okay, guys. So according to my math, we've got 72 more days before 4th of July, including today, including 4th of July. So 72 more days. So you can begin the countdown. It's just good to know how much time you have left. So how'd that go for everybody? How, how is your head as far as organizing what has to be done between now and your goal? Anybody? Oh. Ruth? Oh, well, just trying to do the math. I'm quite a ways from it and I have so much to do and I'm scared right at this moment. My heart is like, I don't care for the math part. So that's how I'm doing. There you Looking go. At the huge discrepancy and okay. You know. So think about so think about the people that you've been talking to and how the results that they've been uh, producing. And maybe you need to tweak that because doing the same thing over and over again and getting, you know, expecting different results is the definition of insanity, right? So um, who do we know has done, you know, well in network marketing? I mean, who, who do we know? I mean, if you, if you sponsor other network marketers, who do they know? Other network marketers. And who do they know? Other network marketers. And so why do people, why do some people seem to come in and go so fast when we're working so hard and we're not getting anywhere? It, and the bottom line is the truth is that those people sponsored people that understand network marketing. I mean, that's, that's the truth. That's, if you understand, you know, that's, why does, why is Trish Winkler the number one income earner in ASEA? Because she's sponsored network marketers. She's sponsored not people that have dabbled in network marketing. She's sponsored people who've been successful earning their living in network marketing before. That's the truth. I mean, you know, so um, who are you calling? How are you, how are you tapping into groups with, you know, people that love network marketing? Once you've been successful in network marketing and you've earned a, a reproductive residual income check, and some people haven't even earned a reproductive residual income check. They've just earned a residual income check, just a residual. And that starts to get exciting. But when your, your check starts to grow without you doing anything, that's when you start to understand this model. So when you've experienced that, I don't know about you, but I think it's impossible to go get a job because you're just like, oh my gosh, we have definitely found a better way. Now I just have to figure out how to make it work, right? Yeah, so, Cindy, real quick for Ruth as well. Ruth, I mean, don't be disheartened. The, the good news is you know where you stand now. The bad news is if you had let it go for another month, right? So you know where you are. Yes, it can be scary in terms of that, the, the cavern or whatever between what you're looking for and, and where you are. But if you didn't know that right now, you wouldn't know that you need to put a little press on so that you get closer and closer to your goal until you reach it. So Take it positively. I appreciate the, the heart racing and being square, uh, you know, scared or afraid. Totally appreciate it and understand it. But man, if you had done that two weeks before the 4th of July, how would you feel? Right? So take advantage of it. Use that uh, adrenaline rush to uh, put your mind at ease that, hey, okay, I see where I am. I see what I've got to do or where I've got to go. Now let's work on what to do and get to work on it, you know, call, uh, do three ways, call anybody for, you know, some advice or whatever, but don't get stuck in the advice, get stuck in the do. Right. You know, I don't know if you remember the story about my friend who decided she was going to do 60 K in this, it was another network marketing company, not a SIA, but she declared she was going to go 60 K. Her mother died. Her mother in her, on her deathbed said, I know you're going to be successful in this business. And so she didn't believe in herself, but she believed in her mother's belief in herself. And so she did it not for herself. She did it for her mom, you know? So this was her being successful in her business was a tribute to her mom. And so that sometimes is easier than doing it for yourself. Anyway, this lady just, you know, she got up every day. She got dressed like she was already a triple dipple and she went out into the world and she was going to make it happen come hell or high water. Right. And, you know, she, Anyway, she's just, a, she just tells funny stories because, you know, <laughs> anyway, she, she was just dressed to the nines because she was already being the person she was becoming, if that makes any sense. 
So anyway, she gets, gets closer to her goal and she's 50,000 points away from her 60,000 uh, point goal. And the, and the clock is ticking loudly. Do you know what I'm saying? And she attract, but she, she does not waver. She does not question. She has faith that this is going to happen. And she attracts Evander Holyfield into her business and he bought $50,000 worth of product for his family. Now, is that sustainable next month? No, she's probably not going to attract another Evander Holyfield into her business and he's going to buy another 50,000. So it's not a sustainable paycheck. She's going to have a good paycheck and then her paycheck is going to be like a firework. It's going to come down as much as fast as it went up, right? But that's not the point. The point is the universe tested her. She put her rod into the middle of the planet. And when you make a firm decision, providence moves too. And it has to, that's a law, okay? She didn't say, I want a strong residual paycheck for, you know, on or before July 4th, 2021. She said, I will do 60K in the month of July, right? That was what, come hell or high water. So that's what she was focused on. And that's what she got because she didn't give up. And she did the work. You can't just sit in your Zen closet and do yoga and meditate. You've got to do the work. You know, you've got to go out there and talk to people and you've got to ask them direct questions and you've got to get clarity in your mind, whether they're hungry, whether they're coachable and whether they're willing to do what it takes to earn the kind of money that they want to earn, to live the kind of lifestyle that they want to live. Right. And so that's really, that's, that's why this is a business of people. So if you find somebody who really wants to earn a lot of money, but they don't like people, they're probably not going to do very well in this business. So anybody yeah, Cindy, else have a comment? Cindy, another thing that I just wanted to bring up was like what we're in right now. I mean, we, we when we made our goal for July 4th, you know, it's it, it was to be a little, a little more aggressive, right? Instead of just what we've been doing, because to get there, we, we haven't done it in the past. So to get there, it's going to take more. We are at the stage when the, the plane is going as fast as it can to start lifting off the ground. And do you remember, if you haven't traveled for a while, it could be hard to remember, but do you remember how the, the plane is actually rattling and shaking? And this is where we are. And we're going to get closer and more towards that rattling as we get to July 4th, okay? Understand that we are under pressure. There's no doubt. But it's a good thing to be under pressure, right? A diamond's just cold. It's been handled pressure very well. All right, well, what happens when you lift off the ground? All right, you've created the momentum. Things have started to shake. You lift off the ground, and it's smooth sailing. All of a sudden, all the rattling stops everything else. doesn't mean it's going to be easy. You still have to put gas in the machine to keep the plane flying forward and everything to that effect. But understand that just because we said it, if we don't believe it, and you know, you can't just say you got to do the work that goes with it. And I'm not saying we haven't been working. I'm just saying that to get there, it's going to be a different type of work than it was to be where we were when we made this goal. Does all of that make sense? Okay. Hopefully that helps a little bit. Yeah. And this is this is Kathleen, and I just wanted to suggest something that has helped me because I used to be someone who said, I feel really anxious about something. And Mark has really helped me with this. I changed the words to I'm excited because it's a very similar emotion. And so rather than, gosh, I'm really stressed out or I'm, I'm really anxious about, you know, this coming or this happening or this not happening or whatever, I changed the words and it changes the emotion just to, just to tweaks it a bit. But I'm really excited. Yep. Can really switch the gear. Absolutely. Absolutely. The words that you say carve out your reality. So you don't want to carve out anxiousness and stress in your life. You want to carve in excitement and challenge and, you know, rising to the occasion. So absolutely, Kathleen. All right. Anybody else before we wrap it up this morning? You know, I just wanted to, I just wanted to thank you, Cindy, for how you opened this this morning because last night and this morning, I, I just felt so much pressure and I've actually reached this goal once before, but it was so hard. I, I never wanted to do it again that, that um, 
you know, I, I wanted to quit. I, I couldn't believe, and, and I can't, I just have never even felt like this before. And I've had a great experience with network marketing. And anyway, it just blew my mind. I told you, you guys keep covering exactly what is up for me. And I just really appreciate it. Good. It pressure off. And thanks, Kathleen. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. You let, me just, you let me just explain something there. No one makes it in network marketing alone. So if you feel like you're doing your business all by yourself, you're not doing network marketing. You're selling ASEA products. Okay. If you're, when you're doing network marketing, well, it's a cooperative environment with a team. That's why you can't go bronze unless you have two people that are wanting to build a business underneath you. You can't make bronze without two director 300 legs. And those two director 300s are not going to start sponsoring people if they don't want to build a business. So you guys, if that, that's the thing. As you start building the team, plugging them into the events, they're going to want to do this with you or without you. You're not going to be the only person on the team going to you know, do this with or without you. You're going to have people underneath you that are going to build this business with you or without you that's when you know you have a strong business. Okay. So just, you know, as far as structure, let's just talk about one more thing. We'll wrap it up because I know we're a little bit over. When you are looking at your binary tree, that's how you're going to get paid off the team commissions, right? But now, now let's look at the sponsorship tree because that's how you're going to make your legacy income. Okay. The, the sponsorship tree is unlimited. The binary tree is limited to $10,000 a week. Most people, when they're making $40,000 a month just from the team commissions, they're okay with that, right? But the team commissions is, the binary part of the compensation plan is just to help brand new people get their business off the ground because you can be a recipient, a recipient of spillover. And if you're a leader, you're providing spillover to your team both your right team and your left team, because you're sponsoring more than two people. So the third person you sponsor, the fourth person you sponsor, the fifth person you sponsor, the sixth person you sponsor, is gonna to go to the bottom of that leg. And that volume is not only gonna help you, it's gonna help everybody in that leg. So that's the strategy behind the, the binary part of the compensation plan. But let's look at the sponsorship tree. How many legs do you have? It's recommended you have a minimum of 13 director 300 legs that are qualifying every single week, okay? That's when you have a strong foundation, okay? And when do you know you have a leadership leg? When you have three leaders in a vertical on the sponsorship tree, not the binary tree, on the sponsorship tree, where you have three leaders in a vertical. Now, what defines a leader? Leader are doing business building activities. It's not a paycheck and it's not a rank. It's the behavior that they're practicing day after day after day. They're practicing leadership. They're, they're demonstrating leadership ability, okay? Three leaders in a vertical, okay? So that you're looking down each leg just because you're like, finally, man, I love working with, you know, Bobby, Bobby Sue, right? But Bobby Sue's all by herself underneath me. If I don't build that fire from below, Bobby Sue might get frustrated and quit, right? So what's the first thing I have to do when I finally find a Bobby Sue? She's hungry. She's motivated. She's, 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 um, she's, she's willing and she's coachable, right? I got to get underneath Bobby Sue and I've got to create some vested interest, because there is going to be a point where Bobby Sue's never going to leave because she's leaving so much money on the table. Why would she ever leave? Right? So we got to keep going underneath, underneath, underneath. When you've got three leaders in a vertical, then people, they're much less likely to quit. I mean, they, you know, they've, they've got vested interest and that volume's coming in like clockwork every single week, whether they lift a finger or not. I mean, the truth is we're all building towards retirement. None of us want to work till, you know, we're 120 years old, right? So we have to get this machine operating by itself. So how do you do that? 
How do you get your organization operating with you or without you? How did Mal Sword come to America for two months because he pretty much took his eye off his business and focused on his family, okay? Which is what we all aspire to do, right? Have freedom. That's what this freedom is all about, right? How can he afford to do that for two months, right? Eight weeks of paychecks, you know? Because his business is an operation and it's operating with him or without them, without him. Why? Because they're not working for Mal Sword. They're working for their own goals. And they see ASEA as the vehicle as helping them get to whatever it is that they want so badly. So that's the environment we're creating in ASEA, in your business, so that you don't have to sweat the small stuff. And Melanie, I appreciate you being so honest because I think we've all been there. I think we've all quit a hundred times. Like, you know what? Throw in the towel. I'm going to go get a, a job. I'm going to go work at 7-Eleven. This is so hard, you know? So what? Maybe I'll only make $15 an hour, but at least I, at least you know, I don't get so frustrated. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, and then the other side of the brain kicks in and you think, you know what? That would be absolutely crazy because I know that ASEA is going to be a household name. I know it is. Just like, you know, Kleenex and Coke, it's going to be Redox and ASEA. So I know that. And it would kill me to be 90 years old, look back at this legacy company that I had a part of, but I quit. You know, then you live with regret and regret will kill you. So anyway, listen, we'll see you tomorrow morning. Uh, same bad time, same bad channel. Have an incredible day, guys. Thank you. That really added Thank you. clarity. It added clarity. Yeah. Good. This is awesome. Awesome, okay. awesome. Thank you. See you.